Yes. Thank you so much. Um, sir, uh, depriving Afghan people from the basic rights is a big problem, but harming the terrorist groups is another major concern, especially for the neighboring countries. What measures are being taken uh, to take out the high levels of uh, terrorist violence? So this is a concern for us as well. Uh, when I made the point to Matt that the Taliban has proven itself unable or unwilling to fulfill the commitments it has made, uh, this is certainly one of those commitments. In the U.S.-Taliban agreement, the Taliban uh, made a commitment to see to it that international terrorists would not operate freely within Afghanistan. Uh, the United States has, uh, in the operation that we undertook a few months ago, uh, that eliminated the leader of al-Qaeda, who was living inside in Kabul, uh, made very clear that the Taliban uh, had not lived up to that commitment. But this is a shared concern we have. Uh, it is a concern we share with Afghanistan's neighbors, including uh, Pakistan. Uh, in this case, Pakistan, of course, has uh, suffered tremendous violence uh, owing to uh, the threats that, are, that have, in many cases, emanated from Afghanistan. Uh, so we're committed to working with partners, uh, but President Biden also has a commitment uh, to act unilaterally if and when necessary, as we did uh, just a few months ago with Ayman al-Zawahiri, uh, to take out threats that emerge in Afghanistan that potentially present a threat uh, to the United States, uh, to our to our allies and to our interests. The take it out Pakistan threatens the top Pakistani political leadership, including uh, Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif and Foreign Minister Blal Bhutto Zardari. Uh, I, I, I hope you have seen that statement. I have, and we condemn uh, any threat of violence from any group, uh, but certainly a threat of violence uh, like this from a, a terrorist group like the TTP. Sir, uh, one last question. Pakistan is planning a massive operation against the Taliban Pakistan, uh, uh, their high doors in uh, part of one border areas. So what kind of assistance the United States can offer to help Pakistan in that kind of operation? With this, I think it's important that we not lose sight of the bigger picture. Uh, terrorism remains uh, a scourge that has taken, as I said before, so many Pakistani, Afghans, and other innocent lives. Uh, the United States and Pakistan do indeed have a shared interest in ensuring that the Taliban live up to the commitments and that terrorist groups like ISIS-K, like the TTP, like al-Qaeda, uh, are no longer able to threaten uh, regional security. But uh, for questions regarding their plans, I would need to refer you to Pakistani authorities. This is a, a threat that Pakistan itself faces, going back to uh, what I was telling your colleague uh, just a moment ago. Uh, militants, terrorist groups uh, operating in the border regions, operating inside uh, Afghanistan, have claimed uh, far too many uh, Pakistani lives. Uh, of course, Pakistan has uh, every right to defend itself. Uh, this is ultimately, uh, in some cases, a shared threat uh, to the region, and it's one we take uh, very seriously, as do our Pakistani partners, of course. Pakistan will do what's in its self-interest, uh, and it will take action uh, when it deems appropriate uh, based on the inherent right of self-defense. It's clear that this has been an enduring challenge. Uh, it's been an enduring challenge uh, for the United States, for NATO, uh, but certainly for Afghanistan's neighbors, who have often uh, most frequently been the victims of attacks that have emanated from uh, Afghanistan. Uh, Pakistan is a close partner, a close security uh, partner. Uh, we work closely together uh, to uh, do uh, what is appropriate to confront shared and mutual uh, threats as well as shared opportunities. Uh, but I'm not going to speak to uh, any plans or operations that the Pakistanis uh, may be uh, taking or contemplating. I, I am just not going to weigh in on a hypothetical. Of course, uh, too many Pakistanis uh, have, the lives of too many Pakistanis have been taken as a result uh, of cross-border violence. Uh, the terrorist threat uh, emanating from Afghanistan has in the past not only presented a threat uh, to Pakistan, but to the region in some cases, as we know all too well, uh, well beyond. Uh, so uh, these are questions for uh, the Pakistani government. We are a partner uh, to Pakistan, uh, but ultimately uh, its decisions are its decisions.